All right, Monty, what did you make of the last three days? Uh, it was an excellent hit out. I think um, an amazing facility here. We've been very well looked after um, since we got here. So actually leave with a bit of heavy heart. We've enjoyed the last few days, but um, yeah, really, we couldn't ask for too much more. All the batters got a hit in the middle. Um, we had to work really hard for our wickets today, which was good. Um, you know, it was a pretty flat wicket and a good surface. So uh, yeah, we had to prize them out and they got off to a bit of a flyer. And um, I thought our discipline after the break was really good and we got the rewards late in the day. So that's pretty much the blueprint for what we want to do in the test match. And who really stood out uh, for you with the ball today? Well, I thought Sophie Molyneux bowled extremely well when she came on um, and beat the bat both sides, which we talk about a lot. Uh, but I actually think Nick Carey set the tone a little bit after the, you know after a bit of a wayward start. She just bowled quite straight, hit a hit a hard length. So that was good for, for Nick, who hasn't had much of an opportunity on the tour so far. But all the bowls bowl well. I think Ash at the end there, coming around the wicket, asked some really good questions as well. Um, so she, I think that'll give her plenty of confidence as well. So yeah, all in all, just everyone did their job. It was really good to see Tay come. You know, steaming in and getting the ball up around, you know, a bit higher around the shoulders as well. So um, certainly something we'll look at in the Test match. And which of the batters really impressed you? Obviously, the two century makers played played really well, but more so, I think just our, you know, both innings we lost some wickets in clumps, and then we played some smart cricket to get out of it. So I just spoke then about momentum in Test match cricket can change really quickly, and just being aware of where we're at at each stage of the game and, and adjust accordingly. I think that's one thing. For a team that doesn't play a lot of this format, I think we picked that up really quickly in this match. And um, when we did make mistakes, we rectified them really quickly. You spoke a bit leading into the game about taking a similar approach to ODIs. Do you think that's what the team has put on the last few days? Yeah, I think our scoring rate certainly was was pretty solid throughout. But it is you know, small ground and fast outfield, so that's pretty much expected. But just generally, I thought our intent to score was always there. I think every batter that came in looked to be positive and hit the ball hard. And, the only really difference is that we just want to keep the ball on the ground a little bit more often, but um, we still want to score quickly and, as we say, maximise our chance to take 20 wickets. So that, that was evident. I mean, I think we only batted 60 and 70 odd overs in the first inning, so um, not, not a heap of overs, uh, not, a, not a heap of um, time to get those runs. So we want to take that into the test for sure. Anything you didn't see the last few days that you might have liked? Uh, no, not really. No, I think everything played out pretty well. I think we everyone got a hit. Obviously, uh, we got a pretty hungry captain to get some runs. Like she, she's not used to you know punching out hundreds. And I think, uh, but I think the processes that she went through in this test, uh, in this three-day game, looked really good. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed. I think she's going to hit a hit her straps right at the right time. But everyone else, um, yeah, would have would have gone away and got plenty out of that with the bat. So uh, it, it all goes well for a good test. Yeah, we've, we've still got a few days to, to work out what the best combination is there. I think um, you know the batters have all pretty much put their hand up and done a little bit at different times, but we're also throwing up a few options with the, with the bowling as well and what that might look like. So we're not we're not 100% sure. We'll probably look to name a 12 um, pretty close to the, the test match and then make the final decision on the day. Yeah, how tough is that decision going to be now? Yeah, incredibly tough. You know, we had a lot of conversations with a lot of different people over the last few days and. It is going to be definitely the hardest team we've picked in a while because it's such a unique opportunity as well and there's a lot at stake. I think um, there's a lot of conversations around what our best balance is um, and because we don't have anything really to go by, the last test was a couple of years ago, it's, it's a little bit of a guessing game in what's going to be the, the most effective team to, to win the test. Uh, so from you came in, impressed with bat and ball, just out of the A squad. Yep. How close would you say she is to a test debut? Oh, very close. I think I think we've always earmarked her um, as a potential to start, and it was really only her injury that is why she was delayed on this tour. So, um, you know, her batting in this match was exceptional as well. So, yeah, she puts her hand right up there, and um, you know, I think the way she bowled today just shows that uh, the value of being able to spin the ball, and also that slider asked a lot of questions for LBW as well. So, yeah, she's a big candidate. And so, once you get a look at the condition in Taunton, will that give you a better idea of the bowling attack you're going? Yeah, it will. All the intel says it's going to spin. So, and I noticed in the county game the other day that uh, the spinners took a lot of wickets in the back end, and Somerset have had a lot of results there this year. I think they've had um, seven wins all up, which is a lot, uh, and it's based around you know a pretty strong spin attack. But the quicks have taken some wickets as well. So, uh, yeah, we just keep an open mind, see what it serves up. But um, yeah, we'll know a lot more in a couple of days. And what do the next few days look like for the team? Well, actually. Um, yeah, we had three training sessions in. We've pulled that back to two, so we we'll travel tomorrow and give them a full day off the next day, uh, and then we'll have a big session and then a, a light top up before the test. So 
um, yeah, to, to, they've earned a good rest again, and you're always going to pull the odd session out. Um, we just think you know, they've bowled a bit today and a bit sore. It's the first time been in the field for that long, for a long time. So uh, extra couple of days just to freshen up, and then we'll go real hard in that, that net session for the test.